Well, good morning, guys. Uh, I'm going to uh, uh, do a little experiment, like I, I mentioned in my last video. But uh, what I'm going to do is uh, do an experiment on uh, inoculating my compost. And like I said before, it starts in the kitchen. So uh, these are some uh, kitchen scraps, or it's actually pulp from my uh, juicer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in my uh, my homemade uh, well, Bokashi bin. I guess you could call it that. Um, basically, it's nothing but an uh, airtight container that uh, with a lid on it. And you can see I've been I've been doing this for quite a while, and uh, you can see that. Uh, stuff in there is uh, fermented. You see a little bit of um, uh, white uh, fungal stuff around the edges of it, and that's that's good. And uh, so basically what I do is I take all my uh, leftover pulp from the uh, juicer, and I'll just dump it in there. Pound it down a little bit, and and I'll take my. Uh, this is my. Uh, uh, well, they're indigenous microorganisms and stuff, but this is a um, a mixture that I made up. It's similar to uh, Bokashi, uh, except this is one I did myself uh, using the indigenous microorganisms and. Uh, and using the um, lactic acid bacillus. So I uh, basically it's a mixture of uh, uh, half uh, rice bran and half um, wood pellets. So that's that's the basis and the uh, the theory behind this whole thing is that uh, um, this will um, ferment and rather than rather than going through a decomposition process like a compost this will ferment so that's what we'll do and i've been doing this for a couple of weeks now so let's see if i can uh uh see if we can get some of the uh, liquid out of this that we're going to use for our concentrated um inoculant Okay, now we're uh, set up. What we're going to do is we're going to try to drain off uh, some of this juice. And uh, this juice is loaded with um, enzymes and some uh, of the original uh, microorganisms that, uh, that I put in, into it to begin with. Um, but the theory is, and my thinking is, that as this um, plant matter ferments, it goes through a chemical process, basically, and it releases the enzymes along with the uh, lactic acid uh, and uh, the uh, microorganisms. And these enzymes are the powerhouse. They're, they're actually, they're going to... Um, uh, exponentially um, make the um, microbes more potent. So you can see I got a pretty good solution there. And what we'll do is that we'll uh, we'll do a couple more things with that, and I'll show you. Okay, so there there you have the um, the basically the, the drainage from uh, what was going on with my fermentation process here. Now, just to smell it, it, uh, it doesn't stink. It smells kind of a, well, it's a typical sweet sour smell. And uh, like I say, it's just, it's just full of, it's full of life and, and richness and uh, enzymes. And the enzymes are what I want to, uh, harness to uh, to make a more potent mixture. So now this this stuff is actually alive. 
So what I wanted to do, because now that it's uh, now that it's out into the oxygen, these little guys are gonna they're gonna start they're gonna start going crazy because they're they're alive. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give them something to to live on. I'm gonna put some molasses in here. And these guys are gonna love it. Okay. Now we'll stir that up a little bit, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. Okay, just to recap what we what we're trying to do here, uh, I took the uh, fermented plant juice uh, from my uh, bucket and uh, it's loaded with enzymes and bacteria micro uh, beneficial microbes and as well as um, uh, lactic acid bacillus which I uh, put in from the start now the uh, the plant material itself has lactic acid in it also so uh, my theory is that uh, during this process, with the action of the enzymes on the plant material, um, what will happen is we will get an additional um, family of microbes and as well as lactic acid bacillus. There are probably hundreds of varieties of lactic acid bacillus and uh, we don't want to limit ourselves to just one kind but what we do want to do is preserve the strongest ones that can uh, that can survive this process so that's my theory uh, you can shoot holes in it if you like uh, you're more than welcome to uh, but it's something that I'm trying so uh, so I've diluted the um, I've diluted the um, liquid, plant liquid, um, with uh, with water. I put it in this gallon jug because I want it to uh, I want it to reproduce, and all those all those beneficial microbes in there are going to be reproducing um, at a fast rate because uh, now they're exposed to the oxygen and the enzymes. Uh, like I said, which are the engine is going to substantially uh, promote this process. Now, enzymes in and of themselves are not alive. Enzymes are, uh, they don't reproduce. Whatever, whatever is in there for enzymes is in there. And, uh, but, like I said, they are the engine which drives uh, the microbes. So they should... Um, they should uh, enhance one another and do well together. Now what I will do is I will take some of my uh, lactic acid bacillus and I'll put it in with this too and allow them to to grow too. So let me do that. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I've added uh, um, my lactic acid. I've diluted it down uh, with water because that was my that was my original uh, lactic acid extract, and uh, I diluted it down with water. So I'm going to pour that in there. I don't know if I can get it all in or not, but it doesn't matter. Quantities aren't all that important, but I think getting the right combination of things is, is important. So now we're going to let that sit for a while. And uh, we'll see what happens, and I may end up uh, aerating this too. If I do, if I do, I'll put it in one of my uh, compost aerating uh, compost buckets and uh, aerate it for a while. So anyway, there you have it. Uh, That's the start of my uh, my uh, experiment. And uh, stay tuned. We'll have more.